Have you ever wished you could rewind and pick up all the pieces of a Hi and good morning miss. My name is Maxwell Inja Anna and Jewel from AD1 at Group A. Today I would like to present about my artwork for this project 1 photo direct stencil and the material that I use. Let's go! Okay, before I start do my photo direct stencil project, it must be find 5 pictures from pop art and the lecturer will be choosing one picture from the 5 picture. So this is the picture that lecturer agreed for me to do so on this project. After that, I tracing the image into a tree paper to easy for me know which part the color and easy for me to do the study color. And I will show you one example for my study color uh, after I tracing the image into five pieces on the egg tree paper. So this is one example for my study color. And right here is table of my color. So now I am going to tell you about my next step after find five picture tracing the picture into a tree paper and also my study color okay before i start do my next step that using sponge uh, i will cut it layer by layer this is the background this is the girl ribbon and the telephone and also this is a face and her hand so now I will show you one example from the sponge technique okay in here I have five layer it is background ribbon face hand and the telephone last the material that I use in this project is brush clay Punch, pencil, and chalk. Okay, that's also for my presentation today, and I hope you will enjoy for my video. Thank you. Good morning to Miss Flo. Today, I would like to present about my pre-making project. In this semester, we will learn about space, and we also learn about stencil technique. Uh, we was asked to search a photo about team pop art. So the photo that Miss Flo has already proceed to me is this, and we do a five color studies. So this is my five color study. We use uh, in a four sizes, and we use the color of Bancho. So. The color study that I was proceed by Miss Flo is this. So I will use this for my pro in for my project in the next step. Um, in this color study, I have seven colors. So for the next step, uh, we will trace the color that we have. For example, like this. Uh, this is one of the color that I already trace so uh, you trace this into a three paper and then make sure also the a three paper is 200 gsm because uh, it will be torn by the acrylic color because the acrylic color is wet and then you take acrylic color and mix it with the color that you want and put it into this little container and you take a sponge and cut it into sizes that you want and this is the size that I will do so you take the sponge and dip it into the acrylic color and then take the um, paper that you've already dressed and take the paper that you want to color it like this and then the sponge that you already dip into 
the acrylic color, you paste it here. And be careful and make sure it is neat. And then the trace paper, you will see it will become like this. And for the progress, this is my progress for now. And I do it in eight uh, paper. So it, it is not finished yet, but this is my progress. And in my artwork, uh, I also include the element, the element and principle in my artwork. So the element and principle that I include in this artwork is um, I try to emphasize this figure. So uh, I try to emphasize by using the bright colors and the dark colors. For example, I use the bright colors for the skin and I use the bright color for the background also. For the dark colors, I use the hair uh, and the eyebrows, eyes and the body so you can see it clearly that there's a figure in it and then um, I also include uh, uh, organic shapes and geometric shapes for example the organic shapes is mostly on the figure figure one and at the circles at the background and the geometric shape is mostly at the background as you can see and then I also include the element and principle of bold and thin line for example I use the thin lines at the eyes and I use the bold line for the eyebrows and the background of this artwork and uh, during this MCO I found uh, there's uh, difficulties that I was uh, I've been through so I find that it is hard for the materials such as A3 paper and transparent uh, paper. For me, I find it hard for not having the transparent paper because um, when you use the A3 paper for the for the um, dress, dress uh, color that you have to paste it, um, it can be easily torn because the acrylic paper, acrylic color is um, wet and so the A3 paper cannot stand wet uh, things and it's also uh, hard for not using transparent paper because when you um, when you try to uh, try to paste it you can you can really see the color at the back so it's hard to try to precise it, precise the order of the color. And it's also hard to keep it neat. So uh, that, is, that is from me and thank you. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Miss. My name is Nur Ashir Binti Ajab. Um, today, um, I'm gonna like to present my artwork. What we learn in what we learn in this semester. This semester we learn um, my classmate and me. Uh, we learn how to do a photodirect stencil. Uh, actually, photodirect stencil is a technique uh, which is uh, like any type of stencil used in printing, which is coated with a photosensitive emulsion and exposed to the original artwork uh, to be printed in contrast to a hand cut of stencil. So. Um, the first step is we choose a photo, a photo. This is my photo image. No, this is my image that I use. Uh, cross it. It is originally black and white, ready to black and white. So I need to think what color should I put a uh, should make and I should make should do. Proceed. Uh, we do a color study, five color study, which is this. This is the first one, the second one, second one, the third one, the fourth, fourth, 
subscribe like and share i love you to print so what did I need a few supplies like paper sponge cutter and some paper <laughs> before I start print I will want to show you uh, my color studies dress so this is the first color studies the second one this is one, the fold, and the last one. So this is the color studies that has been choose. Before I start uh, print, I draw it some on a plain paper like this. After I draw it, I draw it again on transparency paper then for the first layer, I cut it out first so I will get image like this for the second layer, I use any extra paper because I don't have enough transparency paper so I Draw it again or another apple paper and cut it up like this. And so, this is the second layer that I cut. I cut it again and the paper, another apple paper to get some uh, layer. So, this is the final image that I have done in this project. I think that's all and thank you very much to Miss Flo Sebab ajak kita orang secara online and memudahkan kerja kita orang and I'm ready to get a new project that's all thank you um, hi good morning to Miss Florence that is our lecturer sorry uh, if I had a lot of grammar mistake from this video today I want to present my first task that is photo direct stencil uh, this task is for our printmaking 
on part 4. And the image that I have been chosen for the first task is this one. Actually, I did not bring the colors. And next, I want to show you my registration and the other layer from my progress. This is my first layer. So I using the tape so it is easy to do the color transfer from the paper is stick with each other. And next is I using the blue color for the hair part. This is I using the screen from our all our useful file and also from this tree the three different color from that one and next is the shadow part actually I had been doing only five color so far because I didn't finish the print yet and yeah I don't I don't want to do the project on rushing time because if I did on the rushing it will had a lot of bleeding and problem the one of my 12 print which it actually did not finish yet it still have uh, bleeding and also the sum of the color is out of the line you can see it so for this for the first project I had a lot of problem and yeah I hope on the second project I will do more better because for the first project I just did my best so yeah that's from me and hope Miss Lawrence forgive my mistake <laughs> and also I hope after the what I have been through for the first project for the first task I will get more better on the second task yeah that's all thank you <laughs>
support of stem cell. For my understanding, uh, stem cell, uh, any type of stem cell yang digunakan dalam percetakan skrin dan juga dilapisi oleh MRC photosensitive and to and exposed to be the original artwork um, to be contrast in a cut off uh, stem cell. Pembuatan stem cell melibatkan memotong dari permukaan nipis such as A4 paper. For this semester, kita orang pakai A4 paper and then uh, akan memindahkan warna ke permukaan untuk dicetak potongan reka bentuk. Um, kita orang lekat dekat permukaan A3. We use A4 to cut and then lekat di atas A3. Kita pakai A3. Kita akan lekat lah macam tampal tampal and di atas A3. Okay, before I show you my photo stencil progress uh, first thing is kita orang kena cari gambar pop art dekat Pinterest so mine is this one that has been posted and it's low this is so cute and then after we posted the picture after we have to sketch we have to do a five color study five different color study like this one this is the first one that I've made this is the original color like this Second one is this one. Four. And last one is this one. After that, after we made all the color studies, we have to proceed again to make the photo stencil that um, we feel like the most. Like this one. So now I'm going to show you guys my progress, my photo sensitive progress. And before that, you have to know and you have to analyze how much color do we use. So as you can see in my color studies, I have eight different color colors, eight colors. So which means uh, we need to have eight templates. Like if you have six, so I have six templates. Seven colors, seven templates. Mine, I have eight colors, so eight templates. So my first template is this one. The lightest color. The lightest color is like this one. This one is for this one. Yeah, mine is not. Uh, mine is not finished yet. Uh, I need more two colors which is the blue one and the last color is the darkest color that this one is so messy so that messy at least I've tried my bag this one that one and then four three then ten up then tiga lapan dua lagi ini two more and then ini sini ada sedikit lagi warna biru and then hitam and then dan so for the progress we need five we need to make five progress and five I do make a little mistake such as like ada sedikit kotor yang terkeluar Fine, <laughs> so last but not least, that is all for me Thank you, miss And I hope you're having an amazing day That's all for me Stay home, stay safe Bye, miss I don't know what you heard about me
this video, I want to present my first project. Firstly, we need to do a 5 study tile, which I already done it. And after that, we need to proceed with our lecture. And this is the 5 study color. And this is chosen one. The next process was photo direct stencil process. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we can make this process at our beloved studio, so we need to make it to make the registration and the frame using a paper. The frame is according to how many color that I have in my color study, but I have not enough paper, so I only use one piece of paper for frame. After I cut out one color and already finished that bit, I will cover it with masking tape and redraw again the next color that should be depth and redraw again the next color. The masking tape is to avoid the color interface the another color frame. This is my work till now. It has not done yet because I don't have enough color but now the shop already reopened so I will buy a new color to finish it. So I can proceed to the next project. That's all for me. Thank you, Miss. Good afternoon, Miss Florence. Today I would like to present on my Simon, the first task, which is photo direct stencil. But before starting off with the progress and my color studies, I would like to explain a little bit on photo direct stencil. Stencil is basically a thin sheet which usually uh, which is usually a wood plastic or paper these thin sheets have cut out holes the design will be printed out directly by applying pigments through the cut out holes so, for this assignment our theme is pop art so and the image is open so for me i have chosen this image professor jalani abu hassan we were required to make five color studies so this is my first one second third I have chosen this image. Okay. In this image, there are only organic shapes, but there are organic shapes with various of size. The colors, I have nine colors in total after I post direct the image. The the colors contrast with each other, for example, the background and the image in front. As you can see, it contrasts and therefore, it emphasizes on the image in front. We focus more on the image in front. So, with this image, I made, I made the stencil. This is the stencil that I have made. There's nine in total because nine colors. So now I'm going to show how I made this stencil, how, how, how the process of making photo direct stencil. First, this I use the transparent sheet, transparency sheet. And this is the image one of the colors in the image so after I have draw I use this to cut it up it is very sharp I use this to cut up after I have the cut out stencil I use acrylic I use acrylic color and sponge for the next process the sponge 
Let's dab onto the acrylic color and dab onto a piece of paper, A3 paper, which have stencil on it. So as a result, I got this. There are seven colors in here. I have yet to put another two more colors in here. So this is my progress up until now. But up until now, I am not I am still not satisfied with the end product because I struggle a lot with trying to keep it neat not bleed and trying to not to have negative space where it shouldn't have negative space as you can see it bleeds here and there's negative space down here but it's not very clear so this is my progress work up until now that is all from me thank you for listening okay good afternoon to miss Flo. how are you today i'm so sorry because i'm delaying my work and today i would like to present about uh, the extension what is uh, I understand about the stencil is a screen printing which is, which is a create with a photo synthesis simulation and exposed to the original artwork to be print. The most difficult for this semester is uh, we can buy we can go out to buy a uh, more material like paper color and more this is uh, my first project color study this is the, the way image and the way color i have five color study with a different color this is uh, my first color study one and third one fourth one and five okay so every color I use I put in right here Today, what we need to do is uh, based on the image, how to transfer the image in the paper. We need to cut first based on the shape. In this, uh, for example, is uh, the hair. We need to cut the shape of the hair, as bow and more. Cut it here and get a 3 paper and then use pan to transfer the image to the a size I want to end my present and I want to say thank you to Miss Flo and that's all so okay uh, my name is Anissa Ilim Tisuria. I am from ID 1184S. So today I will present on the photo direct stencil. So I have five color study, which is this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, this one has been chosen by Miss Flo. Um, so before I uh, continue I want to talk about uh, the process of making the photo direct stencil so I have to uh, use a four paper and I cut it uh, from the lightest one uh, to the dark color and then I also use um, a recycle a tree file that that I've cut and 
I use the registration board and to do it I have to put my petri paper and the registration board on the top of my this one and I use uh, like this one and I put on the top of my A3 I stamp on the sponge that on the top of this one and it's create the shape no so I only have um, seven print but I made a mistake look where is it this one and more so uh, the challenge um, for the element and principle I have a contrast which is uh, I have a lightest color and the dark one and then I have a color which is a warm and cold color this is a warm color and this is the the blue one the green one is the um, cold color and I also have I also have a variety of color which there's a lot of color here um, I face a lot of challenges while uh, making this of seal um, this PKP because um, I have to stop because I don't have enough color and enough paper to do the um, print but two days ago the store already opened so I already buy uh, stuff and that's it thank you Nothing ever felt as good